Every child needs to be seen, known, and loved. I left Parker with leadership skills, um, with confidence, with a, a different way to walk in the world that I could communicate with others who didn't think the same way that I did, the ability to ask questions, and I think most importantly, the ability to reflect and then to make changes based on those reflections. The big idea here is that students should be at the center of their educational journey. We'd rather have students go deep and truly, truly master the essential skills of academics and life. A community based on decency and trust I think is at the heart of what we do and we can do all those other things because we start there. So by putting students at the center of the educational process, they really come to own their journey. We really want kids to grapple with questions. We want them to um, explore different points of view and then come up with their own. Community and the sense of community that's created here is is instilled in you throughout your six years, and I think that it stays with you. Held the promise of doing school differently in a world that is so focused on data, right, and on high stakes testing of one kind or another. We're a strong counterexample and vibrant proof point that you don't need to be testing kids every day in order to monitor their progress, support their growth over time, and help them achieve high standards. It's about inquiry. It's about having kids um, be the ones to ask questions, explore, um, examine, question. They're interested in pushing you to do the best that you can do and to set you up to actually pursue the things that you're most passionate about. What's important to you? What are the goals that you have? How do we help you reach them? I think that that's why this sort of education really matters, because it lets every student have an individual voice um, and to speak loudly about what they want their education and their society to look like. I think that this work is, is so important that we continue to evolve and do the innovative things that are being done here. It's incumbent upon us to sort of make sure that this is a good place that's, that's here for the next generation and the next generation that gets to, to go into its third and fourth decade and beyond. I'm never going to try to sell you on the sizzle and dazzle of our facility, but in order to have um, any kind of space that's warm and welcoming, we do need to rely on um, the voluntary support of people who care about Parker. Because we now live uh, in, in a world which is changing all the time, and we can't be afraid of it. I talk to young people all over the country in the work that I do. And I think the more that we can challenge people to think critically about the world around them, the more that we can make this world a better place. It's a human endeavor. If we aren't very careful and attentive to the questions we ask, if we don't subject those questions to scrutiny and then go about answering them, in as collaborative a way as possible. If we don't do that, we won't succeed. If we do do that, anything can happen. You're taught to ask hard questions and receive hard questions. What do you need to learn how to do in order to be successful in your own learning? Let's get there together. That's a really powerful um, way of defining education and there are very few schools that have been committed to creating places where that can happen.